Hi, this is Scott Marsh from Woody Cabinets Tips and Tricks. Today, we're going to wrap up the little series on converting all these numbers that are stored as text in the worksheets that we're importing into our master workbook from the workbook that eCabinets generates. In the last video, I showed you how to find all the inch symbols and replace them with nothing, which resulted in the fact that all these numbers are now stored as text. What we're going to do is loop through all the columns in each worksheet that we're importing and use text to columns to convert those numbers into actual numbers and then apply the appropriate number format to each one of those columns. So let's get started with that. I'm in my code here on my form select sheets user form. If I double click on that, there's my user form and double click on my import selected worksheets button and it brings me right into the code. What I want to do first is define some new variables. So I'm going to dim col as variant. Okay, now that's going to be a variable that we're going to use for the columns that we're on in our loop there. The next thing I want to do is dim is num, okay, is number as boolean. I want to come down here after the code that we did in the very last video, right before else, and we're in the loop here that checks to see if the worksheet that we have selected in our user form has already been imported. I want to start right here. The first thing I want to do and take a look at this worksheet here is in the cabinet name. When you take out the inch symbols, it automatically wraps the text in that column. So if I double click on this, you can see how it's wrapped that text. Now if I click over here somewhere, you can see what it does. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line of code in my module here that's going to unwrap any text that may be wrapped in the entire worksheet. Let's say ws dot used range dot wrap text equals false. And that's going to take care of that. Now I need to start a for next loop. That's going to loop through all the columns in our worksheet that we're importing and do a text to columns. And it's going to automatically convert all those numbers that are stored as text to numbers. So I'm going to start my for next loop. I'm going to say for each col in ws.columns. I'm going to hit enter a couple of times and I'm going to say next col. I'm going to tab in and what I want to do is I want to set this variable here is num to be false. Because what's going to happen is, as we loop through all the columns and we find an actual number in row 2 on that column, we're going to set that to be true. So when we get back to the top of our loop here and start over, we want to make sure it's set to false. I want to say is num equals false. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to check to see if the column header that we're on and this loop is blank. If it is blank, then I just want to exit the loop because I don't want to keep looping through all the columns and the entire worksheet if there's no data there. And for that, I'm going to use an if statement. I'm going to say if ws.cells parentheses row one comma and my variable for the column that we're on in our loop col dot column close parentheses equals double quote double quote which means blank then I'm going to hit enter a couple of times and this is going to be a if then else statement so I'm going to type else and hit enter again a couple of times and end if now if it is blank what I want to do is just simply exit the loop so I'm going to say exit for now, after else here, we need to tell it what to do if it is not blank. And what we want to do is a text 
two columns but we really don't want to do nothing we just want to go through the motions okay so what I've got here is a macro that I recorded of myself doing a text to columns and column A I'm just going to copy after this dot here all this except for in sub copy it go back into my user form double click on my button and come right here after else tab in and paste it and I'm going to neaten this up I'm just going to highlight this and tab it in a few times and what we need to do is we need to tell it what column to do the text to columns on I'm going to say WS dot columns open parentheses and my variable for the column col dot column close parentheses now it knows what column to do to text the columns on if you look right here it says destination colon equals range a1 since we're doing a loop we don't want to put all the columns that it comes across back in range a1 we want to put it in the current column that we're on in row one so I'm gonna highlight this and delete it and I'm gonna say WS dot cells open parentheses and it's wanting the row index and that's going to be one comma and now the column index which is going to be our variable for the column that we're on in our loop col dot column and close parentheses now we got the data type Excel delimited text qualifier none that's important all this needs to either be Excel none or false and now we get here to other it equals true we need to make sure that we have that set to false so I'm going to type false otherwise it would come over here and say other char and look for a, a dash there and um, try to perform text to columns on that and we don't want that right now we're going to be using this later on but right now we don't want that now right here field info array array one comma one we don't need this array two I do want the the code to automatically set everything the format to general but since we're not creating multiple columns I don't need this so I'm going to highlight from this comma all the way to this close parentheses right here I'm going to delete that and that's all we need to get our numbers formatted from text to actual numbers what we need to do next is look in row 2 here and see if it has actually converted that to a number and if it has we want to use the is numeric function so if it did convert it to a number then it's going to be true and we're going to trap that in our is num variable so what I need to do is I need to say is num equals and then I need to type is numeric that is one single word okay then when I hit parentheses it's wanting an expression now the expression is going to be WS dot sales open parentheses and the row index it needs to know what row to look in we're going to look in row 2 comma and the column index so that's going to be our variable for our column that we're on in our loop col dot column and then close parentheses and close parentheses and hit enter now we've got that we need to tell the code what to do if it is indeed a number I'm going to need another if statement so I'm going to say if is num equals true and then I need the word then now the next thing I want to do is we want to format these columns appropriately in this case in column A here we have a quantity and all the worksheets that eCabinets generates wherever there's a quantity it's always spelled capital Q T Y lowercase T and lowercase Y so I'm going to use that so I'm going to use a, another if is then statement if ws.sales 
open parentheses and my row index, which is 1, comma, and my column index. I'm going to use my variable col dot column, close parentheses, equals, quote, and capital Q, lowercase ty, end quote. Then, enter, and I'm going to say else, enter, and end if. Now, what are we going to do if it is quantity? Well, we want to format that column, everything in that column, as a whole number. So, I'm going to say ws.columns, open parentheses, col.column, close parentheses, dot number format. Now, that is one single word. And then equals. I need quotes. And I'm just going to type zero and in quotes. Now, that's going to format it as a whole number with no decimal places, fractions, or nothing like that. So, that's going to take care of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. Control C. And right here, tab over. Control V to paste. Now, if you're using decimals, you can just simply type dot and However many decimal places you want, put that many zeros. That's going to format whatever's in there to four decimal places. Now, in my case, I want fractions up to two digits. So, I'm going to use the pound sign and space and then question mark, question mark, backslash, question mark, question mark. And that's going to format that to fractions up to two digits. And that's pretty much all we need. What I need to do next is I need to copy all this down here. Okay? Right here, after we've decided that, hey, this worksheet that we're trying to import does not exist, so it's going to copy it into the master workbook and go through and find all the inch symbols place them with blank, blah, blah, blah. We just need to copy all that right there. So I'm right here after, right here where it says ws.useRange.wraptText equals false. I'm going to copy all that all the way down to next col there. Control C to copy and come right here and Control V to paste. Now we can neaten this up a little bit and that's basically all we need. Everything looks good. What I would do now is save my workbook. What I'm going to do to test this code is I'm going to put a stop marker. First one is going to be right here. And then I'm going to put one right here. So I'm going to go to home. I'm going to click on import. My import button there. Select my five piece store breakdown and click import selected worksheets and if we got everything right it's going to go to that stop marker so we got a next without four compile error now I know that I've got for each column and next column there what that's telling me is I'm missing an end if somewhere and that appears to be right here so I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say end if and try it again. First, I got to come in here and reset my code and try it again. Next, without four. And that is down here. So I need to go ahead and put that in there. So I'm going to hit enter and end if. Now, why is saying. <laughs> Next, without four, I do not know. It should say something along the lines of, hey, dude, you forgot to end if. But it's not doing that. That's the first thing I look for when I get that, when I see this next, and I know I got a four there. That's the first thing I look for, my end ifs. So let's reset it and try it again. appears to be working. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stop marker here. And 
minimize my screen and go into my five piece door breakdown and step through this and see if it's actually working since I have my stop marker right here on next column I can just hit F5 and we got a runtime error Ob object does it support this property or method if ws.cells okay right here I've got column spelled wrong I forgot my N so because copied all that need to change that too and now let's reset and do it again you guys are getting a little bit of troubleshooting here and that's good because I mean you're gonna run into stuff like this and you need to know what to look for so reset and home import and yes so let's come here to our five piece door breakdown and bring up our code and F5 so it did that one and that one and that one and now it's going to do that one and all that looks good so we hit F5 and finish off the code now let's see what happens if I delete this and import all the worksheets so I'm going to select all run my code and you can see it imported everything five piece door breakdown sheet component listing all that looks good so that'll wrap it up for this video I hope this video helped you out if it did how about give me a thumbs up and hey if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks and as always thank you for watching and have a good day